are. Hey, what's going on guys? On this episode, we're gonna get into some work. We had real good intentions of heading towards the Keys this week, and the entire forecast is rain, rain, rain. Big forecast of rain. Not even, you know, summer in Florida, it's gonna rain every day a little bit, but like all day rain. So I think we've definitely pushed back the trip on that. <clears throat> we'll see what happens. But I got a couple of things I need to do. One is on our forward AC. Um, I'm just noticing that there's water coming out. It's just from the condenser water. And it is um, just the hose was left open out of the, the hole. And it was leaking around and it was on the back side, so I did not see it. So I just got to get a fitting, an elbow for that, and a hose. And for now, I'm going to run into the bilge. I cannot find a place at this point that goes downhill from there to um, the outside through a through hole, through hole, through hole, through hole, hole. So I am just going into the bilge and then keeping an eye on that um, for now. But uh, there are some through holes, through hole holes. I like saying through hole hole. Um, that go back from the midships AC, so I might be able to get into that again. I don't know if it's downhill enough from there, um, so I'll just have to look at some of those and see what I can do. But for now, it's just going to be a short hose that goes into the bilge that's right there. We'll keep that pumping and get that dried out. I am also, oh yeah, I got to get one little leak somewhere that goes down the corner of where Trinity sleeps. <clears throat> I've put bunches of silicones in different areas. I can't tell then. It's just on the outside and it's coming from one area. So none of the windows are leaking. It's coming from above. And so it could be coming from the rub rail because some of those screws you can tell have been pulled. So what I'm going to be doing is just taking what I did on the port side because we had some um, water coming into our forward head. And so I just basically put plastic over the entire window, taped it up, and now when it rains, that does not do it. So I know where it's coming from. Again, it's just a Band-Aid at this point, but I don't want to, on rainy days, try and put in a new port window. So not gonna do that one, but I can't seem to figure this one out. And it's a little bit weird. Like it just rained a little bit this morning and it leaked in there. It rained a lot yesterday and it didn't leak. So it's very confusing to me what's going on. So I got to work on that one and uh, maybe a couple other things. Definitely this week I got to get some stuff done getting down into the engine room uh, just again cleaning those things out. But I really want to get dry and I really need to connect with someone on the fiberglass for the aft um, portion of the, the boat there, kind of our, our patio, our porch to get that taken care of. <coughs> Because again, that's another thing that water just keeps going into that aft bilge uh, when it rains. And I really want to get dry and get all my bilges dry. Um, so we got a dry boat. And then let's see, what did I say? Oh, our aft AC. I need to just tape off one of the uh, one of the plugs there, again, for just the condensation. It's just leaking. So I just need to put a little tape around that one little Teflon, screw that back on, see if that stops that leak, because it uh, it has a drain, um, and that one drains fine. So I am off to Lowe's to get a couple of things and try and get back here, and then I gotta go see my chiropractor get adjusted. All right, so up in this corner, Trinity's gonna get her towel out of there, which she's gonna leave there. She tries to leave for weeks at a time. Up in the corner is where I'm seeing the water. Now, I also noticed just this time, because it had always been right through there, into this corner, and kind of over to this outlet. <clears throat> but I noticed right up here, which is slightly actually uphill, we list a little bit to the right because of the kitchen and the full-size fridge and everything is on that side. And there is water up there as well, <clears throat> which leads me to believe it's not coming from the railing because that would have to come straight downhill right there and that would all be there, which is cool, but how did it get up there? 
So, you can see here, here's the window and here's the corner, and then I'll show you up top side some of the things that I've done, and then I believe maybe where it's at, and you can tell me if you think it is. We're gonna test it out. So here is the, go upside down. Here's that window. There's that spout coming out from here. So I had siliconed that before, thinking, all right, that's getting into there somewhere. We had some spots here too that had some cracks in the fiberglass from where there was railing and they kind of half-assed it. Filled in this, I filled in all these different spots along here where there was troubles and that didn't seem to do the trick either. Then I was thinking, like I said, I was gonna cover this up because I got some screws that took a little abuse at some point along the way. So they're probably not in very good shape, which still needs to be fixed. I just don't think it's the source of the issues. So then I'm looking and it's really right here where that is. But if water's coming down this, it's not going to go uphill like what I was showing you. And then I'm like, oh, the door, this could be it. <clears throat> I'd already siliconed this um, just because it was crappy and when I put the new rollers on. But then I'm like, all right, there is water in here. There's some cracking right in there. Then I'm going to go ahead and scrape this and caulk that. I'm going to put some in there so it's not leaking down into the door. And we're going to go ahead and take this one off and finish siliconing all the way under there to get into that. Because as I'm looking now, I come onto the inside and I notice that this my light there for you is damp on the inside and what's this this is right above that dang corner down in Trinity's room so we're gonna I might even see if I can take this off see how much work that takes um, but definitely go ahead and clean this out get it dried out get all that sealed up on the outside and then see for another rain and see if that solves the uh, problem if we got some dripping down in there Dad, Ruby had a bubba. She did. Except it had like a straw. Yeah. So, door off. You gotta look, make sure you prep good. I got the old Marine 5200 over there. Clean this out. What happened, Isaiah? Okay, Isaiah was doing a science experiment. We got some chunks floating around in the water. They look like oil or some sort of... This, they're like shiny. Yeah, they're shiny, but they're in chunks. So Isaiah was gonna... Isaiah wanted to know what would happen if he poured water on it. So I told him he could do it and that would be his science experiment for the day. And he poured water on the chunks and all they did was separate. Well, that's satisfying. Is it? Why don't you do it then and I'll record. Okay. When you do that, when you blow into something like that, make sure you close your eyes. I did, but there has been times in the past where I forgot and it gets stuff in your eyes. So, nice little lesson for you there. So since it was so satisfying, you and the kids will be able to clean the inside tracks tomorrow. Oh, that'd be fun. Mm-hmm. Really fun. I don't know about fun, issues. but just maybe if it comes out easy, maybe a little satisfying. Until you actually have to get it clean then. And then it's not anymore. So I got the 5200. <laughs> Only because the previous owner had a bunch of these, but it's super good stuff. And it gets like nice and solid. It's permanent stuff, basically. Just so, to be chipped or sanded away. So please don't put that over my eyes yeah, while I'm sleeping.
We like to joke around and say that it looks like Jeff is decorating a cake with this. He's doing his piping. I usually end up coming back in with my finger anyway to uh, smooth this out because otherwise I have to get a perfect cut on the silicone, which does not happen. Man, that really makes it look different with just the finger swipe. Working on my Tinder profile, swiping right. It's really good, the piping. I'm gonna call it your piping. Piping. Piping a pancake. <laughs> if you need cake, a cake decorated for a birthday party, Jeff can handle it. Well, he can pipe, he can put in lines like this. So hopefully. Breaking a tooth if you do. Your well, he would do it with frosting. Not I would? Not silicone. Just don't step on the mud that you cracked in from who knows where. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and get the door back on because this rides on the track so it shouldn't affect the silicone. Can't leave the door off during the summer. The AC's already mad at me. I'm not trying to cool the marina. And then I will take a look at the other side. Paint, get it all prepped up. Jeff just got all this stuff vacuumed up. Now he is putting the silicone in those spots that he explained earlier. All right, what did I miss? What did I hit? I thought it looked great. Especially when <laughs> Now you're looking at it, you're like, I gotta act like I was paying attention. I thought you did a great job just because you did that finger thing. We know all that, about that finger thing. <laughs> it makes it look Makes it really like play a part. <laughs> play a part. <laughs> it makes it. It's okay to fill not in. Talk. It it's makes okay it fill to in not. and it's look okay smooth. It's okay to not. Just oh, not. I keep missing it. There it's it not. is. It's not. Okay, we'll start there. I might even come spray this down. Um, no, I can't. It does take a little bit longer to cure. And actually, it's funny this stuff. I think it says it takes. It shouldn't be used in high humidity, so basically it shouldn't be used in Florida, but everyone uses it, and it's awesome. And it shouldn't be used at certain temperatures, shouldn't be used in Florida. And it should stay dry, which means you can't use it in the summer in Florida because it rains every day. So, and it takes like a week to cure. So I will just leave it be, we'll see. It does, it'll be dry by morning to yeah. touch and everything, and we'll know if it rains, it'll be fine for that, so. Um, this task, I believe, is done for now, and then on to the AC vents tomorrow. Now it's time to go get a beer. Jackpot. All right, time to get back to work. So I've got my hose from Lowe's and the elbow going on to this front AC. And here's why. You can see the little bit of water running through there. More condensation there and it comes up in behind. So there's the condensation port, and there it is, <clears throat> just running right onto the ground. So I'm simply gonna put that elbow in, I got a shadow of my headlamp, right in there, and run it down around to this hole, and then I'm just going to drop this container under there for now. Like I said, I have to find a gravity flow area further that goes to a spot that goes outside the boat. So for now, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see if that dries it out, if there's any other water coming from anywhere else. I was thinking about just putting it right into the bilge, but because it's just condensation, <clears throat> I'll be able to keep up with this. But I will also put this in the bilge so that if it uh, for some reason does overflow, don't have any issues. So there we go, with a little bit of uh, Jeff rig in there, my lure box, just needing that uh, hose to relax down a little bit, which it will after being in place, going through the hole, coming down here, and into the little deal right there. And it's draining well already, so drying out these spots, and then making sure 
that I don't see any water coming from anywhere else and we'll check back to make sure everything's all dried out tomorrow. Alright, this thing, you see that? That's water. It's water. I'm about to murder someone. Shouldn't be that difficult. But if you remember what we've done so far, there was water coming out of from around that plug. That was an easy little fix. Put a little Teflon tape, sealed it up, it did really good. This hose, that light sucks, that hose I put on because out of that drip pan it would come out of there and then I have it running down and going down towards the bilge into a container. But because of the way the angle this is put in there, that is an uphill battle for that. Which I thought it was still coming out of there because some of the water was. When you get up into here, where that comes out of this pan right here, it, like I said, it goes uphill, and you can't see it, it's a little elbow on there, and it is glued like this. So it's not even a matter of turning it. So it has to go uphill on an angle, and then come back down around here, which when it gets super full, it kinda does, but it overflows out of this pan back here, into this pan, and then it flows over and like floods out of this. So, I got some more pieces so that I don't murder anyone. This is gonna go into here. I'm taking this hose off of up there around the corner. I'm gonna plug that spot up there. Again, it's coming from this inside pan. So I'll let that fill up. I'll let it come into here. We'll put this in. We'll put the hose on it and that is going to take care of it. I know it is this time. Gosh, people doing this. Why would he put this in here? Would he make it so that the drain has to run up stinking hill? It's ridiculous. So this is going to solve it. I know it is and it's going to be a straight shot coming right out. Hose right onto it. Nothing else is going to have to change down there. And this area then is going to be dry. I know it's going to be so that I can actually use this space to put a couple of things, it has a spot for hangers. I'll be able to close this thing up like it's supposed to. <coughs> Excuse me. I may go ahead and move this box too again. This pushes up against the hoses, so I might move this just up higher on there because I also want to get a another vent like this one that goes in there and put it maybe down at the bottom of this thing too just to get some more airflow. And who knows, maybe on this side as well. But, so I may go ahead and do that. That's a real quick uh, fix there while I'm at it. So I am going to put this in there, put the hose on it, and plug back there and get a dry dang V-birth. So <clears throat> more ridiculousness here. I went ahead and put that in there, right? I pulled the hose off. Let me show you up in there. I pulled the hose off of that, off that little gray nipple there, and water just started pouring out of there. So, I don't know what was going on. I put it back on, now it's draining. And the catch pan in there for this one in particular, the internal one, is only like half full, maybe a quarter full. So now it's draining out of this hose correctly. And that pan in there, you can see, is no longer full. What in the hell is going on here? So anyway, this one's dry. That one's is where it's leaking to and it's actually running out correctly. I'm just leaving it like this. So I guess if it stops running again, this one can drip down. That goes right into the bilge. You won't get anything else wet. And I'll see later what's going on. Check it tonight, check it tomorrow craziness. Hashtag Yacht Life. All right, guys, I have fantastic news. It has been several days now, and I can report, because we've had rain and everything else, Trinity's room is dry. So definitely the rain was coming through the door, and I'm glad I just came across that. Um, the other thing, the dang AC is draining properly now. For whatever reason, it wasn't before, whatever. But, uh, so those two tasks, check them off, all right? Drop me a comment. Let me know some of your horror 
uh, fix it stories something that you just were perplexed by couldn't get figured out something along those lines also do me a favor give me a comment if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe if you have I appreciate it thanks for watching and make sure you hit that bell button as well so that you can make sure you see all the updates as they come all right we'll see you in the next video